one. The book I'm reading is called Perfect Chemistry by Sima Alcalis, and my quote is, there's a thin line between love and hate. Maybe you're just confusing your emotions. Quote by Alex to Brittany. Alex, I mean, I chose this quote because I think it shows the theme of the book, which is trusting your gut instinct and following your heart. Alex is your typical bad boy who is a member of the Latino blood gang. He has two younger brothers, a best friend named Paco, and a mom. His dad was shot in front of him when he was six, and that changed him completely. He is known to be arrogant, obnoxious, and selfless. He is from the south side, which is the poor side of town. He sees Brittany as a self-obsessed snob, but soon learns that, that you should never judge people if you don't know them. On the other side of town, there are the white kids who are incredibly rich and have seemingly perfect lives. Brittany Ellis is your average all-American sweetheart who is wealthy, gorgeous, and popular. But underneath her flawless facade, Brittany is a person with a real is a real person with real problems. Her mom is a snobby perfectionist, her sister is disabled, and her father is a workaholic. She is convinced that her life is more messed up than anyone's, but learns that her life is far from messy and that she and Alex have more are more alike than different. When Alex and Brittany get paired up as chemistry partners, the two opposites do not get along at all. But when Paco makes a bet that Alex can't get Brittany to become his girlfriend before Thanksgiving, everything changes. Alex will do anything to, to win this bet and get the car sitting in Paco's garage. Over the course of this unforgettable summer, Alex and Brittany break free from stereotypical barriers and this discover that to tr truly live, you must sacrifice. I recommend this book to anyone who likes realistic fiction or romance novels. Also, there's a lot of profanity, so if, if you're sensitive to that, don't read it. I usually don't like realistic fiction, but I fell head first into this awesome book, and you have to read it.